This is the training which the devil has trained his agencies. All of them are qualified in designing evil in a style that is difficult for any careless person to detect. That's why the Bible is calling for vigilance. The Bible says, be careful how you live your life. Even when you open your mouth to talk, be careful how you talk because you never know who is listening to your talk and who is able to take one careless word you said and put you into deeper trouble than you can get yourself out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you start walking with people, you better mind who you are walking with because you can never predict where some people will take you. I'll read you another one before I sign out. How can we survive these schemes of the devil? How can you escape this shrewd, crafty methods that the devil is using to trap children of God? Let me tell you, when I see this whole world suffering in darkness, following era and, and truth, I do not blame them. I pray for them because I know some of them are so genuine in the era they are in because they could never detect the lie that is hidden beneath. But of course, the problem is theirs because you do not need to be cheated and be taken for a ride by the enemy because there is a way out. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read this for you. Ephesians chapter 6. And I'll read beginning verse 10. Listen again very carefully. This is a powerful passage. Good for you and it will be good for your children says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Mm, I love that. For our struggle is not against the flesh and the blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. You remember last night I talked about systems? Huh? Do you remember me using the word systems, which I picked from my... You remember? Here they are. These are systems. When you deal with the devil, you are not dealing with just one small devil jumping around here and there. This is an organized system of evil which is floating everywhere. And I can tell you the whole world atmosphere is saturated with these powers. Systems, they are in the government, they operate in the economies of the world, they are in the banking system, they are in school system, they are in, 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 in medical system, they are right inside the archives of your soul. There is no library which you open anywhere and the devil does not post several books in your shelves including the shelves of your own life. Apostle Paul says, be strong in the Lord because we are not fighting with flesh and what? And blood. Powers 
authorities, systems of all kinds. When your brother or your sister begins getting it funny, don't curse him too much. First of all, take him to a special hospital. Let him be examined for you to know which system is at work in him. <laughs> Let me go a little further here. Therefore, put on the full hammer of God so that when the day of evil comes, and I want to tell you it is no longer going to come, it has already done what? Yes. You may be able to stand, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth. Hallelujah, someone. Yeah. The belt of what? That is on the only thing that is our security. Put that belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. This is the one you are listening now. Um, in addition to all of this, in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When anyone suggests to you to do something, before you start following, ask yourself, what has God said about this thing? This is why we are even providing health, health messages during this, these meetings. This is why we are talking about family life issues in these meetings. Because we want all of us to be comprehensively informed about our living. You have to know that that body you have, that body you have, the Bible declares it as the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is the temple of the Holy Spirit and you don't dare throw anything in there. You don't do it. This is not your body. You do not contribute in shaping that fear you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of you think that you are just a cheap material. You can't even create one nail of your finger. You are wonderfully made. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is why elder talks have to keep us informed what things to eat and what things not to eat. You do not go and buy a petrol car and then you start putting diesel in there. That car won't move. Because there are petrol cars and there are diesel cars. I think we are all petrol cars. Don't dare put diesel there. It will mess your engine of life. That's why some of your engines have knocked. Because you have dared put strange things in there. Family life presentations. Which are always reminding us about the foundation of a family. Something that God himself initiated. Family thing was not created by man. Adam was created alone, and when he woke up, he found another guy next to him. God said, I am giving you this human being for yourself. He did not contribute even in collecting the dust which created Adam, I mean he his wife. My brethren, from all over the world. I think we have always to be reminded about where the battle in this world hinges. It rotates around this one point. What God said and what the other guy said. I don't care how 
it feels when you do with what the devil suggests to you. Even if it is, may sound sweeter than what God said, I can assure you, even some poisons are sweet. Don't think that everything that is sweet is good for your health. Mine is, my, is the prayer tonight. That as we continue learning in the school of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, all of us will give God the opportunity to save us from this mess which the enemy of souls has plunged all of us. Is there anyone here who was lost in a mess that you thought was actually the will of God, but tonight the scripture has helped you to see that there is God's will and there is also schemes of the enemy. If you are here and you want to take this opportunity and take advantage of this moment by standing up and even walking forward, me, I, I come straight out. I'm not one of those preachers who feel embarrassed when nobody comes up. I am able to risk everything. But if you are there, my brother, my sister, you want to give your life to the Lord. And you want to say, from now on, I am going to follow nothing less than the truth that is given in this book, the Bible. Stand up wherever you are. Stand up wherever you are. If you want to come, feel free. If you want to come here, feel free. Never be tired of coming before the Lord because God is able to deliver you and to totally rescue us from the grips of the enemy. Please come forward so that we can join our hearts together in prayer. There are many of us who have been cheated out by the enemy. We have been living in error in many areas. Just come forward if you want to come. Just come forward. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much. Come, come forward, come forward, God's people, those who want to come so that we can join our hearts again in prayer tonight. God said, don't eat. When you eat, you will surely die. The devil said, eat, and you will surely not die. If you had believed the latter, you better change your mind. Thank you very much, my brother, for coming. Anyone else willing to come? not going to be long i want to offer the closing prayer anyone thank you very much my brother come i believe there are thousands and thousands of people watching this broadcast i'm not only inviting these who are sitting before me this time thank you thank you very much my sister and uh, the young man for coming before the lord if you are there in any other place apart from this venue where this broadcast is coming from and you want to give your life to the Lord by saying from now on I will live my life carefully I will exercise every bit of my awakeness I am looking for you I'm looking for you because I know the Lord is there waiting for you to receive you Wherever you are, in the US, in Europe, in Asia, Africa, wherever else in Africa, islands of the sea, this is the opportunity that the Lord is giving to you. Stand wherever you are, and we have people who are there to receive you and give you help in more instruction than you probably have ever had. I will pray. Mighty Father in heaven, in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, this hour again, you have made a harvest for yourself. There is no time when your word goes in vain. Father, these precious souls here and many many other souls elsewhere 
who are standing together with us in various countries of this world. Because your word has come straight to our hearts. And we have heard what you have spoken to us, dear Father in heaven. I pray that you will receive them. Receive them in your mercy. They have been misled for a long time. Have mercy on them and deliver them from the grip of the enemy. And Father, do not count their sins against them because they were cheated and they believed a lie. I thank you, King Jesus, for the things you are doing among men today in this generation. Father, continue to open our eyes and every day we will thank you and praise you for your wonderful works. May your name be praised and may our hearts be blessed. For we pray these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And may the family of God say, Amen. Amen.